Another day full of sunshine, still a little cooler than we'd like for mid-May. Kate is promising a big warm-up, though. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, big, big warm up. We're talking the warmest day of the year so far. We haven't been in the 80s since last October. Usually April is our first 80 degree day. Well, not this year, but I'll tell you, tomorrow looks beautiful, even though we're still in the 70s. And as we head into Friday, that's when the real warmth will set in. Let's go ahead and take a look at how tonight is shaping up. Again, a live look from the camera out on the sky deck. I'm not there to be blocking the city view with my large head, but you can see the city pretty nicely all lit up and it's a beautiful evening. It's cool, it's crisp, it is comfy, but you can see a lot of areas, outlying areas are dropping really rapidly. It's down to 43 already in Millville. It's 44 in Lancaster, 47 in Atlantic City, and these spots are going to head down into the 30s tonight. So Atlanta County, Burlington County, and Cumberland County in New Jersey are in a frost advisory, as well as Upper Bucks, Upper Montgomery, Berks County, and the Lehigh Valley tonight. There will be the threat for some frost. Storm Scan 3 shows most of the shower activity is way to the west. Not going to get here until tomorrow night at the earliest. So we've got another really nice sun drenched day to look forward to tomorrow. Tonight is cool, but not as chilly as recent nights, at least in the city, will stay in the upper 40s, mainly clear with a light breeze from the west northwest. If you're working from home tomorrow or the kids have Zoom calls for school, send them out on the deck to do it. It is going to be a beautiful afternoon. 10 a.m. We're already at 60, 66 by noon and near 70 degrees. That's our high for tomorrow, which is very close to average. 73 is our normal, so close enough for comfort. Down the shore, sun and clouds at 66 in the Pocono is a shower possible late with a high of 62 a beautiful Thursday if you're looking for 80s though we got those two coming Friday into Saturday the warm air lifting in from the south and we're talking again the first 80 of the year we are just just shy of the record the latest first 80 we've ever had was on May 20th we're gonna hit it on May 15th this year which is almost a full month behind schedule our average first 80 is April 19th but we will get there 83 degrees the forecast high for Friday. It keeps trending just warmer and warmer. Future weather, again, not anything to worry about for tomorrow. We'll see a good deal of sunshine, but tomorrow night into early Friday morning, a few showers will lift through that warm fronts to the north Friday, but then right there, a chance for another round of showers or thunderstorms Friday night into early Saturday. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast, warmer, mainly dry tomorrow. Friday, a good deal of sun as well. Very warm with a late day or nighttime thunderstorm. Scattered showers to the south and east, likely on Saturday, but it's still a warm day. Then an east wind is going to try to pick up Sunday. An east wind is always bad news for us this time of the year. It'll knock the temperature down Sunday and looks a bit unsettled with showers possible Monday and Tuesday as well. But hey, at least we're looking at 70s and 80s instead of 40s and 50s here, Jessica, which is a huge improvement over the way this cold May has been so far. I know I'll be out there tomorrow having my coffee outside, listening yes. to the birds. I can't wait for that. Yes, we should do a socially distanced walk. We should. <laughs> Lots nice. of coffee. We yes, all need it. Yes. yes. <laughs>